G'day and welcome back to Ducks of the Gaming and Farming Simulator 22 How To Series. We are continuing on with our construction mode series. And this is going through the options we have available in our construction mode. Slightly different way of doing things in FS22 is what we had at FS19. And we're going to get into that right now. Okay. First off, what is the construction mode? And what are we doing? So we covered this in a previous episode about the sheds and the storage. Uh, construction mode is available via others uh, in the shop. And then once we come into construction mode itself, we have five tabs at the top. Buildings, which we covered previously. Production, animals, decoration, and landscaping, which we've also covered previously. In the buildings, we have sheds, silos, silo extensions, containers, tools, and farmhouses. In the landscaping, we had all our landscaping tools, including our painting, our trees, and our plants. Today, what we're going to look at is we're going to look at our production. So the production has the subcategories of factories, selling points, greenhouses, orchards, and generators. And the first thing we're going to look at today is our factory. So the factories are part of our production chain, and that's what we use to uh, take our crops or our, our elements and then make them into other products and then sell them off. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at all the buildings here first, and then we're going to have a look at the production chain proper. So... Let's go and have a look-see, shall we? All right, so we'll start off over here with the bakery. So with the bakery and with most of these production chain buildings, you'll have a little spanner here. Now the spanner here is basically, you can go up to it, you can press the R key and it takes you into the production chain for that unit. So here's the bakery here. Um, and so we have outputs of bread or cake. And what you do is you select which one you want to have active <clears throat> by simply pressing or clicking on bread. You'll then activate it, and it means that that bakery is now going to be actively taking um, ingredients for bread and manufacturing bread. And as you can see here, the bread takes uh, 90 flour to create 45 bread. Now, on the flip side, if I want to make cake, um, that's okay. I can do that. I can make that the active um, element, and that takes eight flour, eight sugar, eight milk, eight eggs, eight um, butter, and eight strawberries to produce 20 cakes. Okay. So that, that's how basically the system will work. Uh, it tells you here for the building what the incoming materials are, so all the materials you need to have coming in. It also tells you how much is in storage, and then it tells you outgoing products as well, the bread and the cake, and how much is being stored there as well. All right, fairly simple, isn't it? Now, on each of the buildings as well, generally you also have an output side or an output area, and that's where the pallets of products and all that sort of go. And that's this area here, bounded by the red and uh, red. Where did I get red from? Yellow and black uh, bounding box, which, which we should all be familiar with for those that have played before. And then we have our tip area, which is where we come in. And we've got the tip activation for our trailers to bring the products in. All right, so that's the bakery. What have we got over here? We've got a carpentry shop. So the carpentry shop, and we'll go in, we'll have a quick look at these, and then we'll come back and look at them in detail. The carpentry shop is going to provide us with furniture, wood and furniture planks or wood chips so uh there you go so furniture made from wood furniture made from planks and wood chips as an output nice and simple and again there's the tip point so that's not a problem there and there's our output over there on the side next over here we have one of the dairies now say uh one of the dairies there's two different style of dairy the other one is over there somewhere um the same sort of thing tip point there this is the element area where we, our products come out and then whoop, and the other side here is where we actually go and activate. Sorry, Giants running is, is just way overpowered, I think. Right, so for the dairy, our products are butter, cheese, or chocolate. Uh, for the butter, we take milk and we churn some butter. For the cheese, we take milk and we make some cheese. And then for the chocolate, we take milk and sugar to create chocolate. Okay, fairly simple. All right, next, around here, is the grain mill. This is the Golden Field Grain Mill. And as you can see, we've got um, the tip point here at the front. We've got the products here will come out. And then over here, we have our spanner, so we can go in and have a look. So what have we got from the grain mill? We have flour is the output of the grain mill. And we'll go into the details of that a little bit later. All right. Next up, we have the spinnery. The spinnery here, tipping point there, output point there, and the spanner here. 
Again, the spinnery could output fabric, either from wool or from cotton, which we'll come back and refer to in a minute. Then we have the sugar mill. The sugar mill, we got the spanner there, output there, and the tipping point is on this side, I think it was. Yeah, there it is there. There's the tipping point there. Okay, so that's the Glenwood sugar, sugar mill. Right, where's our spanner? We're going to come back in here. Sorry about the running. Okay, and the sugar. So sugar is the output, but we can make sugar from either sugar beets, sugar beet cut, or sugar cane. All right, we'll come back to that one again, as I said earlier, later, earlier. <laughs> All right, this one here uh, is our needle and stitch. So this is where we're going to create our clothing from both cotton and wool. If I come in here, quite simply, output is clothes. We take our fabric. Um, so you've got fabric wool. Uh, sorry, spinnery does the fabric. Hang on, what's this? I thought this was the... Oh, no, this is, this is the clothing shop. Sorry, my bad, my bad. So this is the tailor shop. So it takes our fabric, okay, that we make at the spinnery, which we'll get to, and then produces clothes. So you've got two stages of um, production there for these. So uh, that's excellent. We'll come back to that one. There's a tipping point there for taking, dropping off the products. That'll be crates. Um, and there's the output through there. Okay. Uh, here's the spinnery. This is what I was after. I knew it was nearby. We go into the spinnery. And the spinner, as I basically alluded to, outputs fabric, and you can use either wool or cotton as inputs. And so it'll be either 60 cotton for 30 fabric, or 60, uh, sorry, 60 wool for 30 fabric, or 60 cotton for 36 fabric. All right, there we go. What one thing I do want to remark on actually is how good all the models look. Like this texture here on the on the building looks fantastic. It really does. I really like the work they've done with that. There's our tip point for the spinnery, and there's our output there. Okay, that one's done. Next we have, uh, what's this? Otis? Is it Otis? No, the cereal factory. Right, so, uh, where are we going around here? Here it is here. So we have the tip point, the output, and we also have the spatter, so we're going here quickly. And the cereal factory produces cereal, strangely enough, with Honey, raisins, oat, and corn. We'll come to that one again in a minute. All right. What's left? Uh, over here, we've got the natural oils. This is the oil mill. Now, whoops. Now, this side. Right. There we go. So the oil mill will produce sunflower oil, canola oil, or olive oil. And obviously it's going to use some sunflowers, canola, and olives to produce that. All right, now this is uh, in here. This is the great processing unit. So again, tip point. There's the tip point for the um, oil place. Uh, and then this is the outputs here. Those sweet and sour raisins. I wonder what we're going to get from here. Oh, gee, raisins. So output is raisins and grape juice. Incoming product is grapes. So we bring the grapes in, we can produce raisins or grape juice. Now, as you saw, raisins uh, are then can be used over, what was that one on? The cereal. So was it there or was it? Anyway, we'll get to that again in a minute. I'm going to go back through those. All right, this one here we have is the other version of the bakery. So we don't need to go and have a look at that. We'll just have a look through around the building. Um, but there's the second style of the bakery. I think the other one looks a little bit nicer. You can see the bread in the window. So this is the West Hill bread. It's okay. Um, over here, the next one we have on the block, so to speak, is the other carpentry. So again, slightly different building. We'll walk around and have a look. This is timber time woodwork. very good and here's our other dairy i like this dairy a little bit more i think this one looks a bit more quaint but I, I really do like the effort they've put into the buildings it's um it hasn't gone unnoticed giants certainly from myself i think you've done a good job well done all right and then we have the biogas plant and there's three different sizes of biogas plant which we'll have a look at um and uh they're all pretty much the same 
but again in the production which is going here quickly um biogas plant we can um make silage sorry for, from so oh, i can make silage so from the silage um we have different different out let me start that again from the inputs we have different levels of output so if we've got raw silage coming in to this uh, biogas unit then we will get out um 756 uh, um, power methane and we'll get digestate get slurry we get varying amounts of that available to us so that's how that all works uh, but again we'll come back to that shortly all right so that's pretty much it so let's have another look into the menu again we'll come into the construction so when we go to the production area here these are all the points we've just looked at so if we want to do place uh where are we here's our nice dairy okay so there's our dairy okay nice and simple we rotate with the right mouse key uh this is based on pc by the way so your controls are going to be varied with the consoles uh, but you will have the same con same controls just different uh, mapping with your buttons and the console controllers um then we can place it down it tells you what your inputs and your outputs are in the in the uh basic information here on the hud uh but that's um that's it for your production units. Now, what we're going to do now is I'm going to have a look at our um, production map, and then I'm going to clear all this away. Then we're going to have a look at our selling points, our greenhouses, our orchards, and our generators. So we'll uh, we'll do that shortly. But let's go in and have a quick look at our production chains a little bit more detailed. So to get to our production chains, we press Escape to come to the menu, and the production chains are down here, just under contracts. Okay, so that's the conveyor belt looking thing. So as we said about the biogas plant, now there's three different sizes of the biogas plant. And basically, so you have incoming materials of silage, slurry, manure, and sugar beet cut. Outgoing product primarily is digestate, but as an offshoot to that, we produce electricity for our electric vehicles, and we also produce methane for our methane uh, operated vehicles. So, um, and what this does, it just gives you various amounts. So 840 silage will produce 252 digestate. Uh, the slurry will produce 200, slurry will produce 60. So it just gives you the, the weighting so you can work out what's going to give you best bang for buck, but you may be restricted by what product you have. So you, you may only have sugar beets available. So you cut them up and you bring them in and that's what you're going to get. So, yeah, anyway. All right, the bakery we've already spoken about. Uh, so we're coming to the bakery, uh, bread and cake, and that's all the materials we, we use for that. It's very good. The... Carpentry shops produce our furniture, so either from wood or from planks. The byproduct of that is also wood chips. So to produce the furniture from wood, we bring in 36 wood, and that produces 45 furniture plus 1.2 wood chips. If we use planks, then 50 planks will bring in 70 furniture and 0.9 wood chips. Then if we skip into the dairy, <clears throat> The dairy will produce butter, cheese, and chocolate. The butter and the cheese, all you need is the milk. So butter, we take 150 milk, will produce 130 butter. And 75 milk will produce 50 cheese. To produce our chocolate, we take 50-50 of milk and sugar, and it produces 50 chocolate. Nice and simple. All right, our grain meal. So this is one we are talking about before. So the only thing it outputs is flour. Now, that will vary depending upon which crop you bring in. So you have wheat, barley, oat, or sorghum. Now, if I have wheat flour, 150 wheat will produce me 120 flour. If I bring in barley, 150 barley will produce me 113 flour. If I bring in oats, however, that'll bring in 188 flour. And if I bring in sorghum, 150 sorghum will make 158 flour. So obviously your preferred um crop coming in to make your flour would be your oat or your sorghum but if you don't have that available to you and you need the flour to do your you know, think of the bakery or whatever else well then you've got wheat and barley you're just not going to be quite as effective in the output product from the actual um, grain mill for instance so that's just something to consider all right off to the spinnery as we said fabric uh, comes out of the spinnery and we have two inputs wool or cotton now if we have fabric wool selected 60 yarn uh, balls of wool effectively will make 30 fabric. Or if we use the cotton, as I said before, 60 cotton will produce 36 fabric. 
So that's fairly simple, that one. Uh, the sugar mill. So obviously the output is sugar. We have the inputs of sugar beet, sugar beet cut, and sugar cane. And similar to our grains to make our flour, um, sugar beet sugar, it's a bit of a tongue tied, isn't it? Uh, 500 sugar beet will make 250 sugar. The sugar beet cut, if we bring in 500 sugar beet cut, that'll make 300 sugar. And if we bring in the sugar cane, 500 sugar cane will make 250 sugar. So you just got to determine again what crops you've got and what's going to give you the best bang for buck if you've got the luxury of having both or well, all three crops available. The tailor shop for clothes. This takes the output of your production of fabric and then produces clothes. So it brings in the fabric and then produces clothes. So 90 fabric will produce 45 clothes. Okay. Nice and simple of that. The cereal factory will bring in honey, raisins, oat, corn, and your output is cereal. And you need all of those products to actually make your cereal. So you need 30 honey, 30 raisins, 60 oat, and 60 corn. So you need to be producing raisins out of um, the great processing unit. You need to be processing honey out of your bees. And then you need two crop uh, outputs. So your corn and your oat. And then you can produce cereal. Right. Not overly complex chains, but it, there's work involved. And that's fine. So the oil mill, as we spoke about before as well. So we've got sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil of the outputs, and our inputs are sunflowers, canola, and olives. Now, obviously, the sunflower is going to make the sunflower oil. The canola is going to make the canola oil. I don't think that's too hard to understand, but the ver it will vary how much you need. 200 canola will be 100 canola oil. Uh, sorry, 200 sunflower will be 100 sunflower oil. 200 canola, 100 canola oil. And 100 olives will produce 50 olive oil. Okay. And there's no Popeye jokes there at all. All right. The grape processing unit. Input is grapes. The output is raisins or grape juice. So we bring in 90 grapes. We'll get 90 raisins out. For grape juice, 90 grapes will give us 72 grape juice. Nice and simple. Uh, the bakery, the furniture. That we've already done those before. That's just the secondary units that are down. So it just shows... The production chain will only be active and have things in it when you've actually got production chains um, active on your map, okay? So um, it won't have them by default unless you've got them active right, on the map. So if you don't have them on the map, you won't see anything in production chains. So that's the production chains, a very broad and simple overview. Um, I hope that makes sense. What we're now going to do is we're going to um, remove all this and we're going to go on to the next section, which was, um, go back in here, which is the selling point. So I'm just going to clear all this stuff off and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now we've sold all those off, let's have a look at our selling points. So we're going to grab these, we're going to put them down as we go, and then we'll have a look at them in more depth. So first off, we have our farmer's market. So it's going to put the farmer's market down there. There we go. We then have a pizzeria. That's good to have pizzeria. We then have a restaurant. We then have a supermarket. Uh, overlapping with, can't tell. Um, we then have a biomass heating plant. We also have a fast food restaurant. Uh, face it so we can see the front. There we go. We go so the nice diner and lastly we have a debris crusher all right now while we're here we might as well put the other ones down as well so we can have a look at those uh greenhouses we have three different sizes of greenhouses we have a small greenhouse we have a medium greenhouse and what do you think the last one's going to be a large greenhouse 10 points for those that picked it all right orchards the orchards we have um i don't know if i can I can't plant at the moment, but there, we can have the option to put down our grape vines, which is there like that. And in here, we can put down our olive groves. Okay. So we can't plant at the moment, but that's how we, we put those down. And then generators, we have a large solar collector. We have, sorry, the first one was a small solar collector. My apologies. Then we have a large solar collector. Then we have a small wind energy converter. Then we have a small wind turbine, not really that small, but anyway. And we then have the large wind turbine. 
Okay, so now we've placed these down, we'll just have a bit of a look at them, and then we'll go back and have a look and see exactly what we can sell here, because we don't get the information from the buildings themselves, just the tip points. I just thought we'd actually look at the buildings, set down on the ground, so we can have a bit of a look. And normally the tip points are either a side or the back of the building, as you can see here. Uh, there's the grocery store, the supermarket, biogas, go up to the diner. And then we have the stone smasher or debris smasher. This is where we take our stones into and it smashes them up and they pay for us to have our stones. So really not much there. Okay, there's our wind generators, our small solar generator, our medium solar generator, our small wind generator. That's all making us money. And then we have over here our greenhouses, the small, the medium, and the large. We'll just look at the greenhouses quickly while we're here. If I come in here and open the doors. The greenhouses give you the option for three different types of products. Uh, excuse me while it saves. So, uh, tomatoes, lettuce, and strawberries. And you can see for the small, the medium, and the large, it's all exactly the same. And so the incoming material is water. And the outgoing material is tomato, lettuce, or strawberries. Now, it, it's been bothering me a little bit, and I was talking about this on our live stream. I don't understand why water is the only input into these. I would have thought giants would be much better having some seeds or having a seed production unit. And you take some seeds in there and, it, and you buy off seeds, whether it be tomato, lettuce, strawberry, whatever else, just to provide. I mean, this is, you can get water for nothing. So this is a, a guaranteed moneymaker. Um, I, I just don't understand. There should have been some cost involved. So I'm not, while I like it, I enjoy what it pulls out and all that sort of stuff. I just think they should have actually had another another incoming material for seeds or or seedlings or something like that. And just you had to buy something or, or do something else with it other than just adding water. I mean, that's a bit bland. Um, but anyway, so that's what we've got there. All right. So um, all we do is we come into the greenhouse. We fill up our water here. And then over time... Uh, our pallets will be produced out here on the side, whether it be um, lettuce, tomato, or strawberries. There's the medium, and there's the large. Okay. Excellent. All right, so that's all that stuff there. So now we're going to go back in the menu, and we're going to see exactly what we can sell at all of these places here. So if we start up here at the farmer's market, we can sell all sorts of things. We can sell our eggs, our potatoes, our oils, our grape juice, our raisins, our milk, uh, cotton, honey, and strawberries. That's for the farmer's market. For the pizzeria, uh, eggs, flour, oil, grape juice, strawberries, uh, oil, more oil, I was to that, canola oil, all the oils, canola, olive, and, and sunflower, cheese, sugar, and grapes. Excellent. I want to keep going that way. Stop doing that. Uh, the next one is the restaurant. So the restaurant will take eggs, flour, potato, oil, grape, corn, honey, lettuce, and strawberries. The supermarket, that'll take, again, eggs, flour, potatoes, oil. So what's that? Olive oil, grape, grape juice, raisins, honey, uh, cereal, and clothing. The biomass heating plant will take your bales, your uh, wood, um, what's that? Straw and wood chips. Fast food restaurant will take, uh, again, very much the same as the other restaurants. The eggs, the flour, the potato, the oil, the grape, corn, some honey, some strawberries, and some lettuce. And as I said before, the debris crusher takes our stone and gives us some money. All right. So that is it pretty much for our production buildings. Remembering that the production buildings are only available via the other menu okay so when we come into the menu we go to the shop go p this is again pc construction menu under the production tab we then have the factories the selling points the greenhouses the orchards and the generators so that's it for this quick how to well it's not so quick on the production buildings for fs22 hope you enjoyed uh, this information if you did, press that like button. Make sure you press that subscribe button as well and the alarm notification icon so you're made aware of when more how-to videos and stuff are available on the channel. 
Until next time, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. We'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Farming Simulator 22. See you later. Bye.